So continuing onward, the first thing we'll look at from this section is the set of things called the double angle formulas, where these can essentially be thought of as applications of the sum of angles formulas, just in the specific context of alpha equaling beta to get the same angle, as it were. So for this, we have sine of 2 theta equals 2 sine theta cosine theta. Cosine of theta is equal to cosine squared of theta minus sine squared of theta, while tangent is equal to 2 tangent of theta over 1 minus tangent squared. So essentially, if you look at those formulas, you'll see that they end up in exactly those same places. Cosine of 2 theta in particular is an interesting one because that's only one way we can write that. We can adjust it to talk about it in terms of the Pythagorean identity. To get two equivalent representations where we want to, we can also call cosine of 2 theta in terms of 2 cosine squared theta minus 1 or 1 minus 2 sine squared of theta. Depending on our preference, where all we do is we remember that cosine squared plus sine squared equals 1. Rearrange that to get something in terms of cosines or something in terms of sines, and this turns into that. But anyway, to understand this, we're going to look at an example which should be a bit familiar. For this example, we suppose that sine of theta is equal to 4 fifths for angle theta in quadrant 2, and find sine of theta, cosine, or sine of 2 theta, cosine of 2 theta, and tangent of 2 theta. So we already saw a bit of this example in the last section. In particular, we got that for that information about sine of theta, x is equal to negative 3, y is equal to 4, and r is equal to 5. So if we want to get these values for our trig functions, all we have to do is just apply those numbers with those formulas, and we'll get what we need. Sine of 2 theta is 2 cosine times sine which in this case would be 2 times 4 fifths times negative 3 fifths for a total of negative 24 fifths. Similarly, for cosine of 2 theta, we'll use the base form here for no good reason, but we'll get cosine squared minus sine squared, which here is negative 3 fifths squared minus 4 fifths squared for a total of negative 7 25ths. And then finally, for tangent of 2 theta, we will write that in terms of 2 tangent over 1 minus tangent squared, so we get 2 times negative 4 thirds over 1 minus negative 4 thirds squared, and that gives us the nasty looking rational negative 8 thirds over negative 7 ninths, but spin those numbers around and you get 24 sevenths. And next we'll get one more example here with these same sort of ideas, but in a bit more of that general verification process, we're doing something a little more abstract, and seeing so, you know, how we can push these things around algebraically rather than just looking for specific values.